All right, so today I want to discuss 10 vitamins in particular. Instead of dragging them out and talk about one by one every day, I'm going to add all 10 of them together because these are vitamins that you need when you're having symptoms in your body. And a lot of times we look at these labels, it's kind of hard to understand it. So today, I want to discuss 10 vitamins and the beneficial uses of them, whether you're leaving the gym or you're just at home having pain. Let's discuss them. All right, so the first vitamin I want to discuss is vitamin D. And I've heard the story. I'm sure you guys have heard it too. People are going to tell you, all you have to do is go out there in the sun and you'll get enough vitamin D. If you are dark skinned, you're not going to absorb enough vitamin D as a light skinned person. And even if you're light skinned or white or whatever, you're still not going to get your daily recommended amount without getting a burn. The amount you need per day is about 5,000 to about 10,000. It comes with other benefits like your immune system. But on this particular video, I'm just going to discuss the benefits of the aches and pains that's going on in your body. Like for instance, you guys know that if you have pain in your lower back, back pain in general, vitamin D is the best thing you could take for it. So it's good for, for pain and inflammation. Whether the inflammation is because of workout or whatever it is, vitamin D is really good for that. Along with a number of other things like immune health and all of that stuff, but as I said, this is geared towards more working out. Recovering after a workout. I've said this time and time again, it's very important that you take your vitamins after you work out as well. That's why they have pre-workout and post-workout vitamins. It's very important that you take it. And omega-3, 6, and 9 would actually help you. What well, is really omega-3 more than the 6 and 9 that would really help you to recover after a workout if you have slow recovery. Like if it's taking you more than 2-3 days, 9 times out of 10, you're probably really low on omega-3. Um, Alright, one more thing before I move on from this topic, um, omega-3s. There's DHA and there's EPA. You need about 1.6 per day, so you don't need a lot. But one of the benefits is it actually does help you boost your testosterone. The next one is, you ever been sleeping in somebody in bed and the person just keep on rocking, shaking the bed, restlessness, sleeping? That's B1. Nine times out of 10, you're low on B1. Restless legs or your upper body is restless, is very good chance you're low on B1. Or it could be the fact that you're taking in too much sugar with all, all your sugar intake is too high or your carbohydrates is too high. But even if you're not going to stop taking in all that sugar, stop taking all that carbs, just increase your dose of vitamin B1 and you realize most of those symptoms start just going away slowly. It's not going to be overnight. It's not going to be in two weeks, but you start slowly realizing that the symptoms start going away. All right. So since we talk about B1, and the burning. Also, oh, the lactic acid. After you train, the lactic acid in your muscle, that's why it's also important to make sure you have enough B1 throughout the day. But also, the twitching. A lot of times you guys have seen it, it's, it's like you're laying in bed and then you just feel like your hand just twitching for no reason. Or you're driving and you just feel like a twitch in your thighs or in your arm, just, just like it, it has its own beat to it. A couple of things that could be from either your you don't have enough calcium inside your body or you're drinking water that is too high in alkaline. This is 9.5. This is high. So either you're going to take more calcium, which is I recommend people do, or make sure you're not drinking enough calcium in your water. But there's also a simpler way to get rid of it too. Apple cider vinegar will help get rid of that twitching. All right. Weakness, whew, man, you ever try to walk up the stairs and all of a sudden, after you walk up three flights of stairs, your legs just feel heavy and weak? That's vitamin E. That is vitamin E. You're not getting enough vitamin E. And per day, you need about 400 per day. Now, there's different type of vitamin E. Tocotranials, um, alpha, beta, gamma. So 
stick more towards alpha, beta, and gamma in your vitamin E. Make sure it says that. Make sure when you go to the store. Well, you know what? I'm going to put up a link in below. And I'm going to go in the other room and show you guys which one I recommend. But this could be part of it. Cramps. Magnesium, potassium, and sodium. First, let's go right into the big one. Magnesium. I usually take my magnesium at night because it does help you sleep better. You need about 400 milligrams. Now, when it comes to potassium, that's when the numbers are tripled. You need about 1,600 to 2,000 milligrams per day because potassium is needed for all cells in your body to regulate your heartbeat and protein and your muscle and your nervous system and synthesizing, especially synthesizing your protein. So you need about 16 to 2,000 milligrams per day. Sodium, I really don't have to go over too much because quite sure everyone is taking way too much sodium and that alone could cause some side effects. So let me take you guys in the room and show you some of the products I recommend that actually have been proven to work. First thing I wanna say is if you guys think that you're gonna get everything you need from a multivitamin, you're sadly mistaken. It might, even this one here, um, the vitamin E, it has the tocotrinos in it, but it doesn't have the beta, gamma, and everything else. So I really have to substitute it with, this is a fresh bottle. I haven't even opened this one yet. But there's one open here, oh here it is. I have to substitute with this because I also need a beta, gamma, you know, for everything else. So, but this is very good. But what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna put a link for all of these products, the magnesium that I recommend, the, um, the B vitamins, because you could actually take the B1, and this B1 here, by buying the B1 by itself, this is 100 milligrams, right? But if you just buy this one by itself, it has the B1, B2, um, the B6, the B12, the right daily amount in it. And you can't just run to the store and just look at the bottle because for years I've been using Guard of Life and I was still having the same symptoms. But the minute I switch over to this one with the daily recommended dose that your body really needs, I notice a difference within seven days. Because even what with the vitamin B1, I realized that it was, uh, the one I'm taking now is 100 milligrams. The one I used to take before was only five milligrams. So I wasn't doing nothing to my body. So it's very important to read the label and make sure you're getting the right supplements for your body. But I will put a link below for the fish oil, the omega-3, and all of these products I do recommend. I'm also going to pick a load just in case you just want to take the B1 by itself. I will put a link below for that one. But yeah, guys stay healthy and I'll see you guys on the next one.